Hey guys, it is me, your Lisa YouTuber, and welcome back to another mediocre at best video. And uh, before we start this one, I have to state something uh, minor ish, not minor, or spoilers for Dr. Ruin. So uh, if you haven't played Dr. Ruin or at least you're not, you don't know what's gonna happen, uh, leave the doors uh, that way, and uh, you can come back once you know what's gonna happen. And you know, now that the losers are gone, let's open today's topic. So in Dr. Ruin, right, it's a uh, Probably game if you've never heard of it, by the way, you should leave if you still haven't heard of it. But, but in Dalt's Room, there are like these characters, right? People love these characters. There are these uh, wacky memorable characters like uh, uh, Birdly, <laughs> we love Birdly. Uh, there's Noel, and then uh, there's uh, these uh, buff Bob I don't remember if they had a name, but they were like, uh, <laughs> yeah, they were there. And then there's uh, this, this one character, right? It's a secret character, right? Uh, well, not secret to see them, but they're. They have like this their own route, it's called the weird route, right? They're really I'm just hearing loud smacking noises from my little sister's room right now. But they're really wacky as a character, right? They're this puppet called uh Spamton G, which uh yeah they I said but they're, they're funny, they're like Spamton because like a spam boss. Uh they're funny the way he, they have like their own ooh, secret boss fight with uh, Spamp and Neo. Ooh, uh, they like Chromer and they add like this weird speech pattern, right? They're hilarious, right? And as soon as people saw them, they abandoned Jevil and they adopted Spamp and G as a new uh, favorite character. And <laughs> with good reason, his theme goes so hard. And he's a real big shot, yeah. And. <laughs> I'm gonna go check. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> like, I just I'm in my room and Are you being someone to death in there? <laughs> no, that's not what it is. No, that, that doesn't explain what you're doing. What is that on the floor? <laughs> it's, it's a box. That's, I don't know. What do you mean you got it? This is your room. It's nothing to a room. No, uh, what are you doing in there? <laughs> no, it's because, um, what are you doing? I'm getting this good stuff, that's all. Why? Why not? Why? I can hear you from my room. Why are you doing that? I'm bored. Do you not have like games on your phone? No, not really. Can you not play Minecraft? Don't you have SMGs around? Uh, yeah, I can play Minecraft for the same thing. It's glitching down. It takes time for a while. Look at it. For what? Mm -hmm. Like around. Yeah. Am I allowed to do that at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe can't go out, they come in the door for you, right? I also have my child that is born with Resident Born or something. Resident Born? <laughs> That's what I call it. No, it's my child that has been born. It's kind of sad. Like, it's too late to get fed because it's kind of sad. I'm trying to tell me you're about sipping culture. So, you know, my, so, child, no. my child that's been born. Yeah. I'm sorry for being done. My sister is literally insane and hitting fire against the wall. Spamped in jeans. Look, it's, it's the little puppet guy. We love him. We love the little puppet guy, right? But do we love him too much? The answer is yes, we love him too much. I, have you seen the incident? <laughs> have you seen the belt rooms? Uh, why would they like this? Um, like, okay, we have to take this way back before we go off into this. Years, years ago, right? Beyond ago. Uh, he, uh, a, a man uh, called Toby, right? Toby Fox. He made this uh, little indie game uh, called Undertale. It blew the hell up. The people loved Undertale, right? For good reasons. Fun. It was new. I mean, it was earthbound. It was, it was fun. It was interesting. And there was this one character uh, who became a fan favorite in the fandom. Sans. Golly gosh darn skeleton, Mr. Skeleton himself. He has a fandom just dedicated to him. And, um, well, <laughs> as I said, Sans got really popular. Sans got too popular to the point where people started just going all off of him, right? There were people definitely simping for himself. Sans had his own fangirl, like, the internet saw Sans and they were just addicted. This went on for a really long time. And it, it's still going on. What am I saying? Went on. It's going on. It's just, it's chilled. 
over the years to let in, you know, how I first was with Sansa's first uh, release, but you know, this went on for too long. And the internet was too attached to Sans. And we, why am I saying the internet as if I was not a part of that group? I was too attached to Sans. I was a Sans fan, you all. I need, I need, I need. <laughs> the things I've seen relating to Sans, the internet was really addicted to Sans. And uh, I feel like this Sans thing kind of sprouts off from what, how the internet treated the Wansler. But that, that's its own thing. And there's like videos have been done. I'm not, I'm not gonna touch that. That's not my job. But basically, uh, the internet was really big on the sands. It was so big that people were like, there were alternate users, uni universes, right? And people would ship the different sands with each other. Because I guess, what's a better ship than sands x sands, am I right? People would ship themselves with the alternate sands, like edgy sands and uh, cute boo -woo -boo sands or whatever, right? And yeah, that got really lucky. It's still going on, but it's, it's really died down. The Sans uh, kissing fandom has chilled over the time. And then, like, Deltarune came out, right? And within Deltarune came a lot of characters. It was like, it's, it's, it's like its own beautiful game. I really recommend playing Chapter 1, it's free. But within Deltarune, uh, with Jevil, the little, the little, I love a Jester Man. You guys see the boss fight, you're like, Oh, and Jevil is the new Sans. People went wacky with Jevil, right? Not as much as they were Sans, right? Because no one can replace Sans in the people's heart. But people went off with Jevil, right? Two off with Jevil. A scarily amount of off with Jevil, right? That, like, uh, it didn't last long. It lasted like a year, and then they really chilled down, which is far chiller compared to Sans. And then, well, and now, Chapter Room. Chapter, chapter, Delta Room Chapter 2 is out. And as I said earlier, a new secret character called oh, Spamton. He's funny. He has his own lore. Man, I wanna I wonder if the people will like him because of his uh his lore, because how how interesting his lore is and how it could possibly tie back to Gaster and Jevil and all that thing. No, the people just wanna they wanna do weird things to the little puppets and I'm scared. I'm really scared. I am just I I always listen to uh, uh, Spamton's awesome uh, theme song, right? And I got an idea, right? It's like, hey, whenever I hear like a cool song, I want to gauge how popular it is. I, uh, I, well, I have TikTok deleted, right? I download TikTok, right, before doing it again, and I type in the songs to the search bar, right, to just see what's going on, right? I, I typed in uh, Deltarune, the most popular thing with like, oh, I think it was like 1,000 videos or more was uh, Spamton's theme song. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to see what cool things are happening with Spamton's theme song. And I am so disappointed with humanity once again. Why do I so hold hope, huh? I, I came in a starry-eyed child. Uh, I was like, I love this character. I hope the people love them the right way. And all of you people <laughs> are sipping for the goddamn puppets. He ain't even cute. I, he's, he is. Uh, I'm like, I've been trying to wrap my head around this, right? I just, I scrolled through so much, just so much, and oh my god, it was more and more simping. Like, I can, I can understand if you guys sim for <laughs> I can understand what character you guys sim for, right? Like, okay, I don't sim for that character necessarily myself, right? But if someone told me, uh, I, I, I sim for the buff bird people, I'd say, you're weird and please never talk to me ever again. But I would not judge them nearly as hard as if someone said I sim for spam to D. Because if someone, if someone looked me dead in the eyes with a straight face and told me sim for spam, I'd start crying. I I'd bawl my eyes out. I I <laughs> you guys know me. Why are you doing this to me? Like did I do something to you? Is this is this personal? Just, I don't know why you sent for spam to me. He's a puppet. 
like, oh, the people, I, I, some people hated Spamton, right? And like, I don't know why, but like, he went from hating Spamton to being really into Spamton, right? And I don't understand, like, uh, it, you guys are so weird, like, Spamton is like this, what, two feet tall, I am like, three, I'm literally three times the height of Spamton G, right? Short four, I could actually punt him so easily. He's like this tall. Or this. How? How to his two feet? I don't do that, that's map stuff. But uh, he's a tiny little puppet go goblin. It's a, a tiny uh, spamming gremlin. A, a tiny spam bot. Spam bot thing. And you guys were like, you guys looked at it and you're like, yeah, yeah, I, I like that. That's that's what I'm into. That's, that's where my bar is at. Please. Just move your bar a little higher, I beg. But, okay. How much can I judge when I was in the Sans Angel fandom? Alright. I never simped for Sans, right? I've never simped for a character in my life, right? One of the only things I'm proud of, right? But, like, I was a big, big fan of Sans, right? Like, Sans was, like, the best, the coolest character I could ever imagine. I don't know why, I just thought that Sans was the most badass thing, I vibe with Sans, right? And I just sort of, I'll be crew vibing with Sans. But like, I can still vibe with him so much. Like, this song goes hard and I listen to it like, weekly. <laughs> no, actually, monthly. But basically, I like Sans, right, as a character. And I also love Spamton in a non sipping way as a character, because I find their characters very interesting, right? And you know, what they hold and the implications of the character. I find that all very cool and very awesome. And and you guys, you guys admire something else in them. And I just, I don't think we can be friends. Uh, I'm not gonna act as if like, the fandom is only sibling for Spamton G. I, I said that I scroll through it. You guys are so weird. You guys really need help. Hey, okay. Can someone, Someone explains why people didn't bring the chaos king, the king uh, from Meltrun. I, I just, I really, I want to know. It's, I really want to know why. I don't, I don't get, it. <laughs> understand. So if some, listen, if I was, if someone told me they sent for Asgore, I just say furry. All right, I guess, ghost of furry's past. Just, I don't hate furries, right? I just call him a furry, right? But I wouldn't really judge them, right? I, I guess Asgore has a cool vibe. But if you look me in the eyes and you say you sent for the Chaos King, I will fight you on the spot. And then there's Queen, which I fully understand there, right? There's no judgment. Uh, you do you. And uh, then there are the other characters, right? The minor characters, like, not. Okay, they're not minor characters. They're characters that are minors, like uh, Noel. Please. <laughs> you beg the internet. Please leave Noelle. She's done nothing to deserve what you guys are doing to her. And uh, there's Susie, and then there's Chris, and there's uh, Rossi, and there's just too much. That just deserves its own separate videos with Sipe. But the thing that's really big to simp for right now is. Uh, what's his name again? Oh yeah, Spamton G, the puppet man. And I'm just. I am feeling this video like right after finding this out. Like. I went deep in the rabbit hole of uh, Spamton G Simpe. And I there's no bottom because the hole is being actively dug as I speak about this. Like there's no bottom, like you jump and all you see are people with shovels digging even deeper and deeper and deeper so you couldn't even hit the bottom. So you just you will keep falling. <laughs> because it's such a recent event that there's no bottom to this hole. I am so disappointed in every single one of you guys. You guys should not be proud of yourselves. Um, I'm like, okay, imagine I'm your dad. I know that he's not in your life right now. Um, I'm so, why are you doing this? <laughs> I'm just fooling people right now. But, uh, okay, from a serious standpoint, uh, you can actually sim for any character you want on your, as long as it's not problematic, like, you're not a 20-year-old something for like a 
five year old, then sh <laughs> sure, uh, go off, K. Okay. Sim for queen from Doctor Room. Uh, sim for uh, the, the king from Doctor Room. You, you do you, right? But I will still judge you just very silently. I'll just, I'll nod my head, I'll smile, but inside I am judging you. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I have nothing to say. And I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm, I'm popping out a random video right now. It's just it's quickly. I feel for my for over 16 minutes. And I really need a hobby. Other than whatever this is. Uh, I don't know see why you guys will have what this. If anyone made it this far, leave some time back. You need a hobby too. And yeah, uh, see you guys maybe not next time. I'm gonna like sleep.